Hello, so in this quick tutorial we are going to look at how if we click on one of our objects we can make it just a little bit bigger and if we click on the other object this one will go smaller. I've not yet applied the code to Mars. Um, this is working with the project where I got as far as using the GUI, the graphical user interface, the canvas, but it will still work just fine with the older code if you have a instantiation of a 3D object in the scene itself. Okay. As always, if you find any part of this video useful, please do think about pressing like, subscribe, positive comment below, and please feel free to leave suggestions for any future content. Okay, so I've um, I've gone into the code that we've already been using, which is our AR UI code. Again, if you're using the old touch test code, you can you can still use it. Just after you instantiate, you can put the code block just here. Uh, so that I've gone on to the next stage. Okay, so I've created a couple more variables, which is boolean, earth scaled, true or false, and vector three, earth scaled, og, so the original scale. Um, this took a few trial and errors of a um, bit of logical thinking of how to go about it. Um, and I've also created the Mars scale. Now this means you're going to need two variables for every object you want to scale up and down. And again, my software engineering training tells me I should really be using object to into programming and creating a nice class structure with local variables that we can initialize correctly. But I'm trying to keep this as to the point as possible. So I've got these two variables. I'm going to come down um, into our physics raycast. So again, doesn't matter whether it's a touch test, same code, or in this ARUI. I've got the ray cast. If I hit Earth, I want to scale it up. So I am just going to um, basically get the, get the local scale factor and increase the size. So if I just grab... Uh, how can I go about this? Okay, I'll just go straight in for the whole bit of code. Um, I'm going to say, right, Earth scale equals true. I'm going to get the original scale of the um, of the object because what I've found is if I click on my Earth now, I'll just stop this for a moment. If I click on my Earth down here, we can see the scale is already 0.3 and it starts to mess around a little bit. If I click on Mars, Mars is 0.23. So if I try to add something to the scale, um, it can sort of make it a lot bigger than you expect um, because they're all proportional. It would have been much easier had I scaled these models in something like Blender first. So I've got Earth scale equals true. I'm going to get the original scale, is the trans is our current scale itself. Then I'm creating a new vector three variable called scale. And I'm going to basically take the original scale and multiply it by 1.2. So it's basically going to increase the size by 20%. And then I'm going to say hit dot transform. So this is the object we've obviously collided with and transforms its local scale by this scale factor. Okay, so if I go and press this, if I just press save on my code, hope this was not going to crash it. So I'll have to come back into Unity and wait for it to compile. So I'm in Unity. Uh, if I press play, hopefully this should, should show a part of it working. I'm not expecting this to fully work at this point. So here we go. If I click on Earth, it should scale it up. It's just going to keep on going and going and going and going because Back in this code, um, I've just said get the basically overwrite the original scale and then scale it up. What I just need to do is put another if statement in. So if the earth scaled uh, is equal to false, then do this block of code. So basically, it's a do it once only. So now, if I just press save and it back into Unity, it's a shame this is not a little bit quicker. So what you should now do is when I press play, it should scale it up just once and then leave it alone, um, no matter how many times I press it. Okay, so if I click on the Earth, there we go, it's not going any bigger no matter how many times I click on it. But if you want to then click on a different object, it's not actually changing those. So let's go back into our code. Uh, I'm just going to add an extra little bit now, whereas I'm just going to come to the... You know, this is the if if I've pressed on Earth. Well, what if I didn't press Earth? What if I clicked on something else? What if this raycast hits a different object? I'm just going to do another bit of a check. So if I'm just going to say, um, in fact, save him, save him to type it all out in front of you. I'm just going to say if Earth scaled uh, equal equals true. Watching for that missing bracket just there, that missing brace. So if it's true, if it has already been scaled, I want to scale it back down. Now this also means that this hit object could have now hit Mars, meaning I've no longer got direct access to change the transform scale unless I literally kept track in some form of list 
of all the objects in my scene, which I'm not doing. Um, so I'm just going to have to do it a slightly different way, which is I'm going to have to get Unity to find the object. So I'm just going to create a temporary object. I'm going to find an object with the tag Earth. So it's really important to make sure that you don't have multiple objects called Earth, which I did earlier on by accident. I'd actually tagged this picture as Earth, so I've had to go and untag it. So if I did that in a previous tutorial accidentally, make sure that isn't tagged. It was just the name of it that was important. The name of the actual um, image, that was the important bit. Okay, so I've got the Earth. So if I find Earth, I then want to transform back to the original scale. So it's the same code as what I've used up here now. Transform the original scale, and then finally set our Earth scale back to false. And that should let us then scale it back down when I click somewhere else. So again, let's just wait for this to compile, then we can just do a quick test. So now if I click on Earth, Earth gets bigger, click on it again, doesn't get any bigger, click outside, it's not doing anything, but click on Mars, and Earth hasn't done anything at all. Why not? Let's have a quick look if I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? I forgot to press save. Just remember when we see the little star up there, the asterisk, it means if you not press save, I forgot to press save, therefore when I came back into Unity it hadn't actually updated. Um, again, a very school child error there. So again we'll have a quick test of this now and we should be seeing it working. Okay, so yeah, if I click on Earth, click on Mars, click on Earth, click on Mars. So again, I've not scaled Mars yet, but that should be really quick to do. And it back into the code. Um, I should be able to grab, yep, I've already set up the global variables. So I should be able to come down here, grab this same bit of code, um, move down to Mars, copy and paste it in. This time, obviously, change that to Mars scaled, Mars, Mars, that should now work there, and of course I can just grab that same block of code as, as well. Um, and again, quicker change of this. I'm sure I could use find and replace carefully, but sometimes that in itself can cause difficulties. And you accidentally will overwrite all sorts of weird things without realising it. Okay, so I've got another quick test. Press save, back into Unity, wait for it to compile. Okay, so I've got Earth, click somewhere else, nothing's happened, that's fine, yep, that's fine too, uh, click on Mars, there we go, Earth's gone back smaller, Mars has got a little bit bigger, click on Earth, oops, Mars is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so what bit did I miss out on? Let's have a quick look, we've got the same mistake as before, I click on my Earth, we can see it's not tagged, but Mars is tagged, so I'm just going to untag that, and then we should be back to working. Um, it's just the fact that when I'm saying find object, it's find the very first thing that is tagged with the word Mars. So hopefully this should now work. Click on Earth, click on Mars, click on Earth. There we go. We can see we are jumping between sizes. Um, the only thing now to do is, what if we click somewhere else? Um, I'm not going to fix that in the today's code, just because we're going to have to change the structure of this. Because the easiest way would be to get rid of all these if statements and use a case or select switch statement, I did try to just put it outside of this, that if it didn't collide with any raycast, then go through them all and reset to normal scale. But it ignored me, so clearly this is kind of working. We might be able to get away with playing with these numbers. I'll show you what I mean. Um, I was basically just going to put a, an else statement there. So else, um, and I can just sort of go, if it's not clicked anything, then loop through and look for all objects that could have that. So, for example, I could just sort of say that. So, else, I could grab the Earth one. Again, this is very clumsy code, by the way. I would much rather use lists and things. So, now, it would basically, if you didn't click on, on space, in fact, I might try it. Like I said, this is untested. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to bring this down to about 50 instead, because I tried it on 100 earlier. didn't work. It's only as I'm talking to you guys now that I'm sort of, you know, I'm thinking on my feet, as it were. So, let's go and give it a quick whirl. If I press play. So 
So again, I'm going to click on Earth, click on Moon Mars, that's still working, that's fine, always quick test for everything else. If I just press into, oh, do that, oh excellent, that worked that time. Um, where it didn't work earlier, I'd left that number at 100 and I'm just thinking it was still obviously colliding with something. So now, we can go back to size no matter where we click. So a quick look if that works on the UI. Okay, so it is it is also affected by the UI clicking. So maybe that's not an ideal bit of code, but it's enough for you to get yours scaling if that's what you want to do. And again, this came from a subscriber request. So if you have a request, please do leave comments below. Again, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.